Okay, sports fans, if you've been following the uh, videos, you would know that I've mounted the two cell, the two main cells that I've made so far out here on the uh, bull bar, and they've got like uh, isolation type uh, damping down there. Hopefully that'll help them uh, in longevity. We've got the HHO meter, which we'll be uh, demonstrating today. And you can see uh, all the hoses on top. Uh, we have now got the three um, down down tubes um, connected together, and they're being fed by a reservoir, so that the cell's always um, trying to maintain a fullness, which is great. And um, we got the three outlets out of the top uh, heading off there, so they come along and. This is a reservoir tank right here, so the very bottom uh, union down there is feeding the um, cells. The, the centre one uh, here is is the gas coming in to the reservoir, to the, to the engine here, and um, that's in the middle. So the level hopefully uh, just stays above there, and that uh, coalesce the, the vapor and water out of the out of the gas and the gas outputs right at the top here um, and at the moment I've just got it coming out and straight into a into a drain here uh, you can see the second alternator now is um, totally under control of this unit it's got a pulse width uh, modulator circuit in there uh, a couple of nice MOSFETs uh, doing the muscle. This salmon has been calibrated now, so um, that's great. Now this this system here, we've got uh, the duty cycle there. D got the frequency adjustment down here. F and this is an on-off switch up up on. Waiting for a power meter, which will directly measure through a shunt the uh, consumption, voltage, current draw of the actual cells that's still coming from eBay so once that's in that'll be going inside the car this chassis arrangement used to be uh, uh, this uh, good old uh, cassette play which was rooted and going inside the car and we've got the young blokes head in there now which is great and straight underneath because uh, where that cassette unit goes it's going straight in there the control with the meter the uh, cell monitoring uh, meters the adjusting controls the, the whole lot's going there let's just start the car up car's already warm So uh, let's just run the motor around 2,000 RPM. The car is still 12 volts, uh, controlling the alternator's field, and um, this is all 12 volts from the car here. Just the output's going directly to the cells, which will end up having a shunt on the earth return and going back to the box uh, with the eBay meters inside the car. So let's. Uh, I've got a battery isolator here, I've placed the whole system, like that on, going this on. I've uh, got an ignition, the ignition sense uh, line with a the relay there, and uh, here we are, we're going to uh, duty cycle up. A little bit of action happening. Action happening there. Quite nice. The um, field it take, can take nearly five amps, so you've got to set that some oh, that belt noise there. So it's just go a touch over three amps there. And now we'll measure the uh, out, output of the system. And we're going pretty well. Going to use the old uh, HHO meter. I've already set it to zero, and here we go now. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, maybe seconds. And uh, this, is, this is just great. The alternators are not getting hot. I can tell you right now, without the meter panel that I'm waiting for, the alternator will be putting out about 24 volts and possibly about uh, 80 amps. Right there, and the um, other natural thing about this is the motor demand is less. Just a high idle, even though the uh, field current is still just over three amps. We can see the production's way down because um, the alternator works a lot better at high RPM. So uh, 2,000 really is just kicking off. It'll be great roaring along doing about 4,000. I reckon I'm going to be looking for something like 20 uh, litres per minute for the uh, in the testing phase. Okay, well, thanks for watching, uh, viewers, and I'll keep you updated when she's on the road.